It is not a dream of motor cars and high wages merely, but a dream of social order in which each man and each woman shall be able to attain to the fullest stature of which they are innately capable. James Preslow Adams coined the term American Dream. American Dream. I still have a dream. Do you want to be a ballet dancer? Yes. Yeah. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American Dream. Yes. Yeah. Billy Elliot deals with daring optimism in gloomy times. It shows that anyone can be successful regardless of their background. A child from a mining family can become a wonderful ballet dancer if he's willing to fight for it. Or can he? Or can he? It came as a joyous daybreak to end the long night of their captivity. Billy Elliot is about the life of a little English town, but also the great American dream. Billy is a prime example showing that a dream may come true if you really give it a try, even outside the United States, no matter where you come from. His success in combination with the setback of the miner strike 1984-85 captures a historic moment. The transition from embedded liberalism and collectivism to neoliberalism and individualism opened up new possibilities for children from mining families to get out and realize their dreams. The background was now seen less and less as an obstacle. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Yeah. James Truslow Adams wrote about the American dream in his 1931 book, The Epic of America. According to Adams, the dream says that each man and woman should be recognized by others for what they are, regardless of the fortuitous circumstances of birth or position. His vision is similar to Martin Luther King's. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. The American dream has had an enormous impact. It has been important for the nation building of the United States, the largest immigration country in the world. The dream still attracts people hoping for a better tomorrow for themselves and their children. They want to make free choices without being held back because of their religion, ethnicity, sexual orientation or heritage. From every mountainside, let freedom ring and if America is to be a great nation, this must become true. So let freedom ring. But not everyone is convinced that they can achieve the American dream. James Preslow Adams already wrote in 1931, shortly after the Wall Street crash of 1929, that too many of us ourselves had grown wary and mistrustful of it. Miss, can't do it. That's because you're not concentrating. I am concentrating. You're not even trying. I am, Miss. Do it again. If the dream promises a future without problems where everyone is happy, then it can never come true. If it says, on the other hand, that everything is up to the individual and that he only has himself to blame for not reaching his goals, then too much is asked of the individual. You're not even trying! I am, miss! Do it again. Billy isn't broken by pessimism, however. Even though he lives in depressed and even violent times, he retains his joy and playfulness. Let us not wallow in the valley of despair. I say to you today, my friend, so even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. Yes. Just one last question. Can I ask you, Billy, what does it feel like when you're dancing? Billy becomes the spark that brings new life to the miners and gives them something to root for. I like forget everything. Like this fire in my body. Flying. Like electricity.
although there are clearly defined limits to what you can do in the city he lives in. Billy breaks away from the social expectations unlike his brother and father. For girls, no, no, not for lads, Billy. Lads do football or boxing or wrestling. Not friggin' Bali. His chaos incarnate. He crosses all boundaries and mixes rock rhythms with classical movements. The posh with the popular, the girly with the boyish. Billy throws away his boxing gloves and puts on ballet slippers. Instead of repressive macho attitudes, he develops a more tolerant and expressive manner. He refuses to be like his father. When other people finally realize Billy's talent, they support him. They rejoice in his success rather than look at him with envy. I'm going to have a raffle at the welfare. And I'm going to organize a concert. Thanks, George. They help him reach the American dream instead of thinking of themselves and how they couldn't reach it. Or is it in fact reached by almost everyone? The definition of the dream is changed all the time. Once it was reached by having a color TV and a car, things that today are almost taken for granted. In the past, attending high school was an important part of the dream. Today, it's college. The American dream is not carved in stone. As soon as it's reached, it's redefined. We must make the pledge that we shall always march ahead. We cannot turn back. The standard of living has increased significantly since Adams coined the term in 1931, thanks to advances in healthcare, labor safety, technology and so on. People strive for different things, however. While some claim that the American dream cannot be achieved without being married, others claim that it requires having children, education or wealth, so maybe the dream must be understood as a self-defined form of success, rather than a socially defined success. This fire on body. This fire on body. The American dream has always been confronted by a certain degree of bitterness and distrust, ever since it was coined shortly after Black Tuesday of 1929. But perhaps it's still a dream to embrace. With this faith, we will be able to hew out of the mountain of despair a stone of hope. It shows that it may be worth taking the chance. Let freedom reign. Let freedom reign. It encourages us to follow our hearts, even if it means we have to break with conventions. Let freedom reign. It helps us become more of what we are. So let freedom reign. And it does it by giving birth to inspiring role models like Billy Elliot that learns to stand up for himself. Isn't that a dream worth fighting for? Isn't that something to pursue? When we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we'll be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last. Free at last! Thank God Almighty! We are free at last! I was dancing when I was twelve. I was dancing when I was twelve. I was dancing when I was a I was dancing when I